Hey there guys, Warrior. welcome back to another awesome video and today I've decided to go through my gaming collection and all my video games that I have and I've had over the course of time and over the many years of gaming and I've decided to start off with my Wii collection that you see down here. It may not look like it's much but it's a good chunk not compared to that stuff over there but it's a pretty good chunk, so I will say that, but we're gonna get into my Wii collection just for this video, since the title of this video is my Wii collection. There will be later videos of me covering my PlayStation stuff, so my PS1 games, my PS2 games, my PS3 games, and my PS4 games, but I think for now, we're gonna start things off and kick things off with my Wii collection. And I'm gonna leave in the link in the description of I had done a live stream on my OG channel, I want to say a year ago, covering all these games, but I figured to give you guys separate little videos on each little collection, so it, I guess, helps a little. So, let's get started with pile number one here, and pile number one here, I like to just call it, is just the fitness and dance games. So the fitness stuff's not my stuff. It's pretty much because the Wii, we used to use like all three of us amongst me and my parents. So my mom would have some fitness stuff. And then the dancing stuff was stuff I liked because little known fact, I used to take dance classes. So I liked getting into dance and all those things. But we'll go through each individual one later and other stuff. So let's just quickly go through. This is, an, I don't know why, but this is how this is. I really don't know where my mom got it. All I know is that it's a Wii. Uh, we share we your shape with Jenny McCartney. Yeah, Jenny McCartney. I don't know why we have two. We have two different versions. We have another disc for that, and we have the actual your shape with Jenny McCartney. I'm not gonna go into too much details on each every individual game on its story and purpose, but just to go through some and then some maybe I'll go into. Just realize real quick, there is one game that's not amongst my collection. It's somewhere else. It's in my room somewhere, and that is my Disney Infinity 1.0 game. So I do own Disney Infinity 1.0 for the Wii, and then afterwards by 2.0 and 3.0, I got it for the PlayStation 3. So that's not in my collection, but it's personally in my stuff. So. That counts towards it, and if you guys want to keep a count, uh, keep a track or count of how many games I have for the Wii, then by all means, do that in the comment section or do that in the chat or whenever. We have two Zumba games. My mom was into Zumba. Ultimate Fitness with Jillian Michaels. I don't think Jillian Michaels still does fitness. I'd be surprised if she does. And then we have Just Dance 1, 3, and 4. I don't know why. I didn't give a shit about 2. I just got whatever ones that my parents gave me. And again, like I said, I was taking dance classes when I was a lot younger in elementary. So this is when I had these games. And yeah, I mean, I don't see myself playing these anytime soon. And speaking of which, as I'm going through my collection, if there's a particular game you wanna see me do a game series on, let me know in the comments or let me know in the chat or if I'm gonna have this as a premiere, I think this is gonna be a premiere. So leave that in, either in the chat or in the comments or both, whichever you prefer. And like I said, if you have any that you're like, you should do this, like a stream or a series on, or a live stream series or a Let's Play series on, let me know in the comments. Next is the Black Eyed Peas experience because I liked the Black Eyed Peas at one point in the early 2000s. They're, they're okay. They're kind of cool. Not, I don't like them as much as I used to. There is one artist that I will always, always no matter what, no matter how old I am, I'll always respect and always honor and always just appreciate the legacy and the music and the icon that he was. And that is Michael Jackson, the experience. So I was a big fan of Michael Jackson when I was younger. I still respect and still love a lot of his music and a lot of his talent and a lot of the stuff that he's left. And if I had a choice, if I had a choice and if I lived in the 80s or in the 90s, I would have loved to have gone see a Michael Jackson concert. If you were to tell me which like deceased or which iconic singer or artist would you have wanted to see perform? Artist, single artist, Michael Jackson. Band, probably Queen. So I had Michael Jackson experience. More We Fit stuff really that I'm not gonna really use but my mom has used and we don't really use these at all to be honest because the thing is we don't even have the little pad for it 
which sucks, but because I know there's a Wii game that requires a pad for you to run and jump and do things, so we don't have that. We don't have a Wii pad. We just had these because our yard sale was given away because we had our Wii. We got our Wii right over right there, right in that little spot. We had gotten that years ago in a, at a yard sale. I don't know how much it was. I want to say it was like 50 or 70 for a Wii we had because it was the Wii plus a few games and the controllers and everything else. So that was at least 50 or to $70, I recall. So we got pretty much, we looked at Wii stuff um, either online or in yard sales or whatever games that like GameStop had at the time. One of my very first games I completed when I was younger was Ben 10 Protector of Earth. Pretty cool game, pretty cool game. I'm not gonna review these games and go through each individual reviewing, rating them sort of thing, but it was a pretty good game, pretty solid. I wish they had more characters though, because they didn't have the entire like onslaught of aliens. And next is we have this fishing frenzy. I've never touched this. I think I got this for my dad, or I think he got this for me, for so the both of us can play. No, this is one player, so I don't know. I. This is, a, this is something that's just kind of been sitting there. We got Monster Truck Mayhem, which I did, I think I played this once and just stopped for whatever reason. I don't know, just didn't really get into it. I was like, whatever younger age I was, and I was like, ooh, cool, Monster Trucks. And then that's the I'm point, I was like, this is kind of dumb. I think the controls got a little, like, it was stupid. We have Battle Rage, which I know very little on. All I know is it was hard as hell when I was younger. I don't know how it is now, but I really hated it because of the controls. And I think this was my uncle's because my uncle had a Wii and I think he still has a Wii, I don't know. But I know he lended us like a game and said, yeah, go ahead, it's fine, you can have it. Or we wound up getting the same game as him. Like one of those things where my parents bought it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is the same game as my uncle had. I don't remember, to be honest. It's a weird one, but whatever. Madagascar 3. And the reason why I had gotten this was because I remember so many times that we used to get red boxes back up north, where we used to live up north. And I remember so many times we'd get red boxes, and I remember so many times playing the Wii from playing this game. I played a DreamWorks, like, Mario Kart type of kart game. I had the Power Rangers Samurai for the Wii for red box, and I was able to do almost all these games not at the same time, but when I rented them, I was able to do it like straight for the entire weekend. So I did the Samurai game in, the entire, in, a, in an entire weekend. I almost finished this game in a weekend, but oh well. But I remember I liked the game so much, I guess my parents got me it for probably Christmas. So I was like, oh neat. I think there's another Madagascar game. Yeah, here it is. Well, it's not here yet, but it's in this this little pile here of these things here. And speaking of which, Wipeout was another game that I used to get on Redbox and always loved to play. It just was fun for me. I just thought it was hysterical. Just the way, like, the controls are, just the different costumes, the characters, not really characters per se, but the, the character select screen. And plus I got a kick out of the, uh, the what were their names? John Henson and John, John Anderson, those guys. I don't know why they were funny. I didn't really watch Wipeout Moments, the show, but I knew of the show. The games were funnier. They were a lot more enjoyable. They were a lot more entertaining. Next, we got Disney Universe. Kind of the game that almost started Disney Infinity in a way. The whole idea of different characters all in the same world, more or less, although you're technically dressed as the characters, you're not the actual characters. But this was kind of fun, never f completed this, but I had a little bit of fun, I started this. I don't remember if I got this rented at Redbox and I just bought it or not. Either way, it's a cool game. And I think you guys are probably a little familiar with this game, but Sonic and the Secret Rings, because I played this on a live stream one time, which I'll leave that link in the description for that. And to be honest, I don't know if I want to revisit it because it just, it stopped. I don't, I don't know. Maybe we'll see what happens. We'll see. But in the end, not bad of a game. I don't know. I'm debating. If this gets enough requests, then I'll be like, okay, fine. I'll do another Sonic and the Secret Rings because it really was weird that all of a sudden I stopped. Like it, it didn't tell me the next mission. Like I said before, there was another Mas Madagascar game and then this was Madagascar Karts. 
I think I rented this one too, and so we bought it. I don't know, I kind of wish we do get or wish we had the DreamWorks one, but this is still cool. You have, I think, Shrek and Bob from Monsters vs. Aliens are guest characters, but it's kind of fun. Fun for friends, fun for family. Okay, it's a little darker now this time, but I have my strobe light on just in case, but let's continue. Next game I've got here is Star Wars The Clone Wars for the Wii. Uh, lightsaber duels to be specific. Never touched this game. I don't know why I didn't because the idea is kind of cool, but we'll have to see how it plays. Maybe sometime. But never played it before. I assume it's like lightsabers with the Wii controllers, so I hope that's how it works. I'm, I'm hoping it is. If not, then maybe let me know or maybe we'll look at it sometime. We'll see. We have another Star Wars game, Force Unleashed 2. Now, I want to say maybe the same thing will apply to that game for this game where you use the Wii as a controller, as the lightsaber, but I don't know why, because I have Force Unleashed on the on the PlayStation 2, I like those controls better for, th for that type of game and this type of game. So I may play this for the Wii, but I'd rather play this for like something, say the PlayStation 3 or the PlayStation 4. This is definitely optional, for sure. I don't know why, but we apparently have two Wii Plays One's the actual version, which has all the games, and this is probably the same thing, but it's just basically bootleg Wii Play without the cover, without the whole nice little, like, look at the nice little decorative thing, and look at the nice case, and then you got this taped up white case. So I don't know why we have two, I forgot why we have two. Toy Story 3, which kind of inspired that sort of toy box-esque like aesthetic that we had and we gotten from Disney and Fanny in a way, it's kind of sort of slightly, but this is definitely like so far I think one or two people have requested me to look at this, so I might look at this. Uh, I played a little bit of this. I don't remember how far I got into the game, but I remember getting a little bit into the game. It was kind of fun. I really enjoyed it. It was funny and hysterical. We'll see about this. I definitely, definitely, this is definitely up there in terms of games that I will probably do streams or series on. Now, I may not have a Nintendo Switch, nor a Wii U, or a Nintendo 64, or a GameCube, or any console that has a Super Smash Bros. game, but I got me Super Smash Bros. Brawl. I may not have Ultimate, but I have Super Smash Bros. Brawl. That's definitely up there, possibility. I wouldn't mind doing game series on this, or maybe a little laid back streams i know i won't be able to play online with you guys because i know we doesn't have that online system anymore but hey it'd definitely be a hell of a fun but even if this doesn't get re requested i've had lots of fun playing brawl i may not have finished the story but i have at least most of the characters i feel like i'm missing one or two but other than that i think there's maybe more we'll have to see but Definitely a possibility, just saying. I totally just realized and totally forgot I meant to do a, a video for this back in December, but this is still an option, this is still open. I mean, we're still in the month of January, and even if we do this in January or in February, this is still fitting, we're still in the season of winter. So, this is definitely up there, and we have Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympics, so we can definitely still do some videos with this. And hey, if, if and when, if, my boy, my bro, my buddy, my YouTube fellow pal, Jaden T Inc. is watching this. If you're watching this, my friend, this is definitely open to partying. So I'm shouting out to him saying, look, if he's ever out, if he's ever over here, maybe we will be playing this game or maybe we'll play Smash Brothers Brawl. So we'll do maybe a game series or streams with Jaden over here. If he ever decides to come over and hang over here, just saying, just a little idea, just a thought. So. Mario and Sonic Olympic Games. Okay, we're nearing down my last two, the Wii games we have here. Well, two and a half, three technically, but Wii Sports Resort, and I have the original Wii Sports in here with it too. So, because I got little Wii Sports, because back when they had the little Wii Sports little thing, like a CD, you open it like a CD, a little mini Wii Sports, and I just left it with Wii Sports Resort. So, and I don't know why, but it has like a little, it has a little PlayStation 2, memory slot so i don't know why that's there let me know in the chat or let me know in the comments of this video why is there a memory card for this this was never a playstation game unless someone just used the cover of a playstation 2 box and just plastered wii sports resort on it i don't know and i don't know why the price is still here so ignore the price 
probably the most current game I've been playing on my Wii, which there will be more videos of, is Epic Mickey. And that concludes everything. And like I said, I have Disney Infinity 1.0. It's just somewhere in my closet, somewhere in a box, in a tub, with the rest of my Disney Infinity figures. Those, ladies and gentlemen, are my Wii games. Let me know in the comments section if there's any in particular that you want to see as game series or live streams or maybe like special little, like if I do like a little a special occasion where I go, let's do, I'm going to do a live stream of this game and maybe we'll do it once in a while or maybe once a month, whatever type of thing like that. Or we'll do a live stream series or we'll just do a regular gaming series of it, whatever it is. Any ideas, any suggestions, any thoughts you guys have, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please smash the like button. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I do awesome videos every day, if not every week. Make sure you ring that bell. I do new videos every day, if not every week. Share the video with family, friends, all the good stuff and more. Leave some suggestions in the comments. You name it, I'll look into it. If you have any questions for me, leave those in the comments as well. I'd like to do a Q&A video sometime near this year or sometime in the near future. That I'm open to also the other things coming your way reviews also the other things I want to catch up on requests and much more so anyways guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time